And let's take a look at some sports. And here's Ayo Tunde Balogo. Many thanks to Joma Super Eagles duo of captain John Mikelubi and midfielder Ogeneka Retebo will miss Friday's pre-World Cup friendly against Poland. Officials said Mikel is working at renewing his work permit in China, where he plays for Tianjin Teda. A table sustained injury while featuring for his La Liga club Las Palmas, but will be available for next week's clash with Serbia in London. Meanwhile, 22 players trained twice today and will do the same tomorrow under the supervision of head coach Gennett Ruhr. Brazil soccer player Neymar has attended his sister's birthday party in Sao Paulo on crutches while recovering from a broken foot. The PSG star has recently undergone surgery to help repair the fractured metatarsal, which has ruled him out of the world's, or which ruled out the world's most expensive footballer before the rest of the French league season. It's the fourth year in a row that Neymar has been able to attend his sister's birthday celebrations in his native Brazil, twice owing to suspension and now twice owing to injury. Neymar made his appearance sporting crutches and a protected boot accompanied by Brazilian actress and model girlfriend Bruna Marquezine. Reigning FIFA World Player of the Year Cristiano Ronaldo has won the Portugal FA's Player of the Year award in Lisbon. Ronaldo had a tremendous season in 2017 in which he won five trophies with Real Madrid, including the UEFA Champions League and the Spanish La Liga double, and then he personally picked up a fifth Ballon d'Or as well as the FIFA Best Player and UEFA Player of the Year awards. Ronaldo retained the trophy by picking up 65% of the votes ahead of Sporting Lisbon goalkeeper Rui Patricio's 18% and Man City's midfielder Bernardo Silva, who got 17%. The awards are organized jointly by the Portuguese FA, National Football Coaches Association and Professional Football Players Union. Russia will hold special competitions this year for the athletes who were not allowed to participate in the 2018 Winter Paralympic Games in South Korea. Russian President Vladimir Putin said the prize money for winning will be comparable with the payments to the medalists of the Winter Paralympic Games in Pyeongchang. The Russian Paralympic team, which participated in the Games as the neutral Paralympic athletes, finished second after the United States winning 8 gold, 10 silver and 6 bronze. World number one Roger Federer is hoping that this year's Lever Cup will be a hit when it makes his debut on U.S. soil in September. Now, the 20-time Grand Slam champion made his first ever visit to Chicago on Monday to promote the team competition that debuted last year in Prague. Australia's Nick Kyrgios is excited to be back at this year's event after losing out a tight final singles match to Roger Federer in Prague last season, which clinched the Cup for Team Europe. The year of the Labour Cup was always uh, to honour the legends of the game. Started with uh, Rod Labour, who you know we admire so much. John, myself, and everybody looks up to Rod and everything that him and his generation has done for us. And it, I, I think it also brings away um, the tennis world together, all the different generations of players. You know, puts John and Bjorn uh, back together for a, a, a week. Um, we invite other legends to come follow uh, tennis as well and then you know you have the new generation coming up and uh, the ones that have already been around for a while like myself and Rafa. Uh, it was amazing for me uh, to obviously be a part of that was, was something special for me it was the uh, it was amazing for me uh, to obviously be a part of that was, was something special for me it was the probably the funnest week of my career so far um, you know better than the Grand Slams I thought it was um, you know to be around my friends obviously very good friends with all the guys on, on Team World. Uh, there was a bit of an age difference. Um, you know, we had you know John Isner to, to Denis Shapovalov, which is one of the youngest guys coming mm -hmm. through. So, um, yeah, I mean, to look on the other side of the net when I was playing Roger and seeing you know Rafa in his ear giving him tactics, I didn't really think it was fair at all. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm trying to work it out with Johnny Mac and we're UFC Rising star Darren Till will fight in Liverpool on May the 27th, and has promised UFC fans a thrilling bout as he makes his debut in his home city. The fight at the Echo Arena is expected to sell out, with Till hoping to take another step towards a shot at the world welterweight title. Undefeated in the UFC, Till made waves when he defeated Donald Cerrone in October at the UFC Fight Night 118. And that's sports news. Ijoma will be back with the rest of the news at 10.
The president has congratulated his Russian counterpart, President Vladimir Putin, on his victory in Sunday's presidential election. In a letter to Mr. Putin, President Mohammad Buhari describes his success for the fourth time as a clear testimony of the confidence Russians have in his leadership. He also asked the Russian president to use his victory to promote international peace and stability while giving the assurance of Nigeria's commitment to a stronger relationship with Russia. President Buhari promised to continue working with Mr. Putin to strengthen defense, trade and technical partnerships between the two countries. And Russia's diplomats have left the UK along with their families following their expulsion by the UK over the poisoning of a former Russian spy and his daughter. They were expelled after British Prime Minister Theresa May said Russia was culpable for the poisoning of Sergei Skripal and his daughter Yulia. Earlier today, the diplomats were seen leaving the Russian embassy in London. Moscow has denied all involvement in the incident and has retaliated by expelling 23 British diplomats, giving them until Saturday to leave Russia. And the Nigerian Police Zone 2 covering Lagos and Ogun State is engaging Nigerian youths by collaborating with select entertainers for a security concert themed Youth, a tool for national security. With the hashtag entertainment meets security, the police like, uses like entertainment to speak against criminal activities, including internet fraud, drug abuse, and cultism. Acts including Korode Belu, who is a decorated ambassador for the police, Rugged Man, Dr. Sid and Sound Sultan entertained guests. The program also initiated a process where repentant internet scammers can register with the police, who will in turn recommend them after mentoring and training. And the main news again, they had fun there, the main news again. The federal government today challenged states to come up with the right policies to boost their economies as participants at the Ogun State Investors Forum are confident of return to growth path. The vice president also said the federal government has shared 1.9 trillion naira to state governments from the Paris Club refund. Also today, Amnesty International accused the Nigerian army of failing to prevent the abduction of Dapchi schoolgirls, despite being warned. But the defense headquarters dismissed the claim and challenged Amnesty to provide evidence of advanced information. And 23 Russian diplomats and their families today left the UK in compliance with Britain's expulsion order following the nerve agent spy attack. Well, that's the news at 10 tonight. Thanks so much for staying with us. I'm Ijoma Gunyato. You have a good night.